Hello guys, so we have another video. Um, this time obviously it's the, uh, an update on my record collection. I think number 56, I think this is what that is. Uh, so, mm -hmm. gonna get into this. So, first one we have is Songs in the Key of Life by Stevie Wonder. He's from Detroit, Michigan. And uh, it's one of my favorite soul musicians. This is one of my favorite soul records. I won't take it out because it's just black. It's very long, um, almost two hours. It does have, hold on, give me a second. Right. This is the other record. But um, it's very consistent all the way through. And Stevie Wonder, I think, is a really, um, I think he has a really um, optimistic background because he is blind. But even though he's blind, he's a multi-instrumentalist, he's a great songwriter, he can sing super well, I mean, he can sing, not C, I guess, but, um, and he knows a lot about history, a lot about civil rights, and all this other stuff, and it's just, he's really smart, and then it's really interesting that he's able to achieve all this stuff despite being able to see, which I think is really cool. Um, but this album's great. It has a bit of some more artistic and progressive elements on it. Um, there are some politically themed lyrics on this album, on a, quite a few songs, but he also mixes stuff like funk. There's some rock in here, there's some pop, there's some um, even some like Latin influences on some tracks. And then uh, this little thing put this in it's kind of hard to get in this book there we go. this is the uh, little something extra these are the last four songs off the record it's included on a seven inch and next we have discipline by king crimson which is uh probably my fourth favorite release they've done this is pretty good releases this is kind of where they went to a new wave direction it kind of reminds me a bit of talking heads um it also features some heavy metal elements and some experimental stuff obviously has some great vocal work, um, and it's definitely one of their strongest releases in my eyes. Definitely their best album from the '80s. Um, they're a pretty consistent band. King Crimson is still to this day one of my favorite groups ever. Probably my favorite group in the progressive rock genre. Probably. Now we have "Worry" by Jeff Rosenstock, which. This album reminds me a bit of Abbey Road by the Beatles, not in sound, but just the way the tracks are, because it has a medley that takes up almost the whole second half of the album. Um, I feel like that was probably intentional. Um, it's a power pop record, pop punk record, but it also features all different sorts of punk styles, like hardcore punk, it features ska, it features like all, I don't know, all the different kinds. Uh, it's very catchy, very fun. It also features some more conscious political lyrics about police brutality and uh, and racism and all this other stuff. It's a very good record. I think it kind of has something everyone can kind of kind of like. And he's a very talented guy. Um, it's a, it's one of my favorite albums, and not only power pop but pop punk too. And then this is Flying Microtonal Banana by the Australian psychedelic rock multi genre group King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. This is probably my fifth favorite album they've done. Uh, I think I originally said that, I don't know. I think Petrodragonic Apocalypse has recently grown on me quite a lot. I think it might be my third favorite now. Um, this is my second favorite out of their 2017 albums. Uh, but yeah, this is a very good release, um, and uh, it kind of features a bit of a repetitive sound, but that's kind of typical of King Gizzard stuff, but still some really catchy elements, a bit of a more experimental way of playing, um, but still one that's quite enjoyable. I like the cover a lot, and they generally have pretty good cover art. And then last, of course, we have... <clears throat> Plastic Death by Glass Beach. It's an indie rock album. Features some really cool 
cover art. It kind of reminds me a bit of Emergency and I by the Dismemberment Plan. This came out this year. It's one of my favorite releases of this year. It looks like I put it in the wrong record thing. One of my favorite releases of this year, um, but um, there are other albums I prefer over it. It's just most of the albums that I really like aren't available on vinyl yet for some reason. Yeah. But I did order uh, the new album by The Smile, which I like quite a lot. Um, yeah, Bending Hectic on and goes again, I'm getting it. Um, anyways, really cool cover. It kind of has a glossy kind of thing here. Lots of really cool futuristic and aquatic looking artwork. Very musically diverse. It features like a bunch of like stuff from progressive rock and there's some electronics, some folk, there's some punk, there's some really, really heavy metal elements to it as well. Um, yeah, very musically diverse. Most of the fusions work pretty well. Some not as well as others, but for the most part, it's still a really good release and has a lot of really good songs. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.